Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today is going to be an update for my project pan. I do update my project pan quarterly and I have five products in my project pan. I did have one completion this past quarter so I will be rolling in one new product and I will show you the progress of the other products in this project pan. So if you guys are into project pans and would like to see the progress I have had over the last three months then keep on watching. Let's go. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the most frustrating one so far, and that is the highlighter stick I have from e.l.f. I use this so much, and I have no idea how I am making so little progress on this. So I got this for free many years ago from e.l.f., and it's called their Pink Pearl Glow Highlighter. I mean, it's super easy to use. Like, I literally just kind of put a little on, and I tap it out, and it just, it has a very nice, like, natural glow to it. I really, really like this product. It's so easy to use, so I use it all the time. However, if you look at my progress, the last quarter I have made the least amount of progress. I assume that maybe I haven't done my makeup as much this quarter, and maybe that's why, because I just don't have as much time with Phoebe being only on one nap a day and just being wild. <laughs> I can only assume that's maybe why this progress is going not as fast as I would hope it would be going. But this probably is like my biggest disappointment of everything in my project pan right now. The next product is a lip gloss. I actually thought this was going to be done as well this quarter, but it wasn't. So, oh, I should probably say what this is. This is from INN Beauty Project. This is their lip glaze in number one. So my progress marks. So we started up here. This was the last update. And now it's like all the way down here. So I'm not sure how much more I will be able to get out. But like every time I dip in there, there's still plenty of product to use. I really do like this product. But like I have so many lip glosses. I was hoping to kind of work through a little bit more this year. And I didn't realize how long this one singular lip gloss was going to take. Okay, let's do the concealer next. So I rolled this in the last update. And this is the Tristique Conceal, Cover, and Correct Crayon in the shade Porcelain. It took me a while to get on board with this one. But I finally realized that... The consistency of this product is actually really nice for just like spot concealing because it's kind of like a thicker cream and I actually made really good progress on this. In the last quarter I was able to get the stick down fairly low. I was actually very surprised by the progress I've made with this one. It's hard for me to say if I think it'll be done by the next update because it did take me a while to figure out how I really liked using this. So if this one isn't done by the next update, it will be very, very close to being done, is my assumption. Okay, next was another great update, and it's my lip liner, because I, I'm not saying I finished this one, but I've never finished a lip liner. And this is the Wet n Wild Perfect, pa Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment. So actually right now I do have these two layered. They actually work really well together, which helped in this project. But this is all that is left in this lip liner. And this is a very, very, very creamy lip liner. So like this will go quickly, especially because if you look at where we started in the last quarter on this lip liner, like this might be done by the month of April, which is awesome because like I said, I haven't finished a lip liner. So hopefully in the next update, I will be rolling in new lip products. I don't know if it will be both, Who's to, who knows with that lip gloss, but I'm at least going to be able to hopefully roll out one lip product in the next update. Okay, the last product is our big finished product, and this took me so much longer than expected. Unfortunately, if you recall from the last update, my like lines that I had made on this product for some reason disappeared, so I only have the most recent line. But when I started this in this project pan, it was completely full. And right now there's like, if you see, there's like this teeny tiny bit left here, I can't get it out. And uh, I'm just so happy with um, the progress I made on this product because I thought this was going to be an easy one. It wasn't. I actually really like this product. I have heard people say that it's very shimmery on their face. Mine didn't do that to me. So I don't know why, but mine did not make my face shimmery. <laughs> so I just really like this. I thought it made my face glowy, but also set it really well. So I'm not running out to buy it, but I did really like it. And since we're rolling out a setting spray, I decided I wanted to roll in a setting spray. And I thought, this thing has been sitting in my collection forever. I also have like backups of this product that I've gotten in like sample bags and stuff. So we're rolling in Mac Fix Plus. Right now it is sitting at that much left. I feel like I should be able to do that in a quarter, especially since it's like pretty close to the same amount that was in here at the beginning of last quarter. So I'm hoping that in the next few months I can finish up my Mac Fix Plus. I know things are easier said than done, and it also depends how much time I have to do my makeup, but those were my five products that I have in my current project pan. I also am always currently 
actively trying to pan and finish up makeup unofficially, I guess you could say. And those will always be in my monthly empties videos. I am trying to finish $3,000 worth of products this year. That's kind of including like, I call it like all self care because I do throw like hand wash and candles in. It's not just like makeup and skincare. I like to like anything that really makes me happy, you know? So let me know what you guys think of this update. I definitely am the most in over my head with that, that cream I like for sure. Did not see that coming when I threw it in this project pan, but I enjoy using it, so I don't mind. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.